Democrats often say, like you just said, uh, that you support codifying Roe v. Wade. Roe didn't place limits on third trimester abortions. It just allowed states to do so. Would you support a federal law that bans abortions after viability? What I support, and I'll be very clear about this, is Roe v. Wade, uh, which does allow for limitations, but it also protects the life of the woman and the health of the woman. Just say, no. you'd be surprised how well it works. I, no. I brought up the state dinner. Do you think it was appropriate for Hunter Biden to be at the same event uh, as the Attorney General Merrick Garland was in the same week he uh, accepted a plea deal? You know, I think as the president explains, that's his son. That's a separate thing. And I would like to say um, about that, that decision was made by an independent prosecutor who is a Trump appointed U.S. attorney uh, who had 10 years of experience, well respected. Philadelphia Inquirer reported that he was a registered Republican. He looked at the facts and evidence and made that decision. And by the way, if that's what the Republicans want to run on, uh, in the coming election, good luck, because the president is going to be able to run on the strength of his work in bringing 13 million jobs back to America in resurging you, you understand the perception. in our country you and in moving forward. You understand the perception issue of something yes, like that, though? Yes, I do. And do, do you wish that perception I were do. different? You always wish there were different perceptions, but that's not reality. Reality okay. is whether or not someone is going to be able to get their insulin. And the president has made changes. Reality is whether someone has a job. Reality is when they can go visit their grandma again in an assisted living. Those are people's realities, not who is sitting where at a state dinner. Is there something that the U.S. should be doing right now, given the chaos in Russia, to help Ukraine seize this moment? The U.S. has shown unprecedented leadership here. When I was there um, with Senator Rob Portman, uh, we were hearing at the embassy about how babies were being named HIMAR uh, because of the weapons we've supplied. What? We got a new poll out. Uh, we asked various questions having to do with President Biden and his ability to do the job. Uh, does he have the mental and physical health to serve? Um, the concern among Democrats has doubled since October 2020. It was only one in five Democrats that had that concern before Election Day 2020. It's now over 40 percent. It's 43 percent. Um, you were just with the president at the state dinner. What are, Do you have any concerns? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, he did so well at that state dinner. Um, I think we all saw his power at the State of the Union. Our party is united behind him. Why? Because we work in a results-oriented business, Chuck, and he has gotten results. Well, I'm out, man.